it is I guess my official first day of work like first day of contract work and so I have a couple days of training I am super nervous I'm starting in a new district and I have a lot of questions I don't really know what to expect yet but I'm really really excited so let's get this day started I'm done with my first day of work. Woohoo! Um, I'm breaking out a little bit on my chin. I don't know if it's like the hormones or like the mask. Um, but I am trying to wear my mask more often, um, especially in like, you know, indoors with a lot of people just because of baby. Um, but everything was really good. I didn't really know what to expect, um, but I got my computer, I got my email set up. And then I got to get all my test kits and protocols, like whatever I wanted to use. And we went to my new school to check out my office, like put all my test kits there, like meet some of like the administrators. And it was just like such a cool experience, like even going back, cause it was the school that I went to. It was the middle school that I went to. And um, like some of the people that were there when I was a student, like many, many years ago, they're still there. So it was like really, insane let's see there's a lot of things i want to change about the office it's a small office i am so grateful i have an office i don't know if it's a good testing space especially with covid i just want to make sure um like kids feel welcome it's a, like cozy but like you know it's appropriate for testing so we'll see what i can do um everyone was like super nice super welcoming and they were just really sweet. I'm really excited to get to know them and to work with them and also to meet my students. <sighs> so I am at a middle school um, and for my for this middle school, it's grades six to eight, which is different from my last placement, which was a middle school that was just seventh and eighth grade. I also just got off a call with Byron McClure. He is amazing. I filmed a video with him, which I will put up in the cards. Um, if you guys haven't watched it yet, definitely check it out. He will inspire you and light a fire in you. <laughs> if you're burnt out or like if you're questioning yourself, like go watch it. Um, we just caught up for like 15, 20 minutes, just, you know, talking about life, how things are going. And he has a lot of cool things going for him. He just had baby number three. Um, congrats to him and his family. And yeah, um, so it was really cool catching up. And now we are getting dinner and we're at UPS to drop off some packages. Also just wanna share that like, our dog has not been doing well adjusting. Um, so I haven't, I didn't mention this before, but we're in the middle of moving. Like we sold our house, we bought a new house, but they are building it. And so in the meantime, we are staying with my parents. And so for like the next like, I don't know, five, six, seven months, however long it takes for them to finish the house, we are staying with my parents. And so like, I'm so grateful that we even have like a space to stay, but Lucky is not adjusting super well. Like she, she and the other dog, I'll show you in a little bit when we get home, like they're tolerant of each other. Lucky is a little bit aggressive towards her and she doesn't like, Cleo doesn't like it because Cleo is very independent. She's a little bit smaller. Um, and Lucky's like very energetic and very playful. <laughs> and she's young. She's a puppy. I think she's developed um, some separation anxiety. And so whenever we leave her at home, she would start destroying stuff. Um, when we like left her in like a gated area, she destroyed the gate. When we left her in um, like a bathroom with her bed, she destroyed the door frame. And so now... Like, and then we tried leaving her out in the open, like the first floor with the other dog. She was doing better, but then recently she started destroying stuff again. And it worries us because we don't want her to eat anything harmful because I don't want to come back to a dead dog. Like, oh, 
Yeah. We definitely don't want her to get sick. So um, we started crate training her again and hopefully she'll be good. I mean, so far she's been pretty good. We started training her yesterday, just getting her used to going in the crate again, like giving her treats, associating, you know, the crate as a good thing and um, leaving her in like small increments of time and you know, you know the drill. Um, so yeah, this is like the longest she's been in the crate by herself. We left it on the first floor so she can have natural light, um, see through the windows. And we also have a camera set up so we can watch her just in case anything bad happens. We're kind of worried she might chew through the plastic tray. Like I don't even know what she can do to that crate, but I don't want to know. Like I just, so far she's been good. So that's about it. Uh, today was first day of work though. I don't know, I felt like it was a lot, but I didn't do much. And tomorrow um, there's like a big like training or like a conference thing for all new hires, including teachers. And so we're all attending that. She's being good. Thanks, Cleo. Now over here. Hi, Lucky. Hi, Lucky. Okay, so we really wanted Burger King yesterday and they were closed earlier than what it said on google maps i didn't get it yesterday and so we went again today because we were still craving burger king and yes i know i shouldn't be eating a lot of fast food but um it's what the baby wants okay so i went there and they said their machines are not working, like their system's down or whatever, and so they can only take cash. And so Jonathan ordered through DoorDash, and we're waiting for the food to come. And that is all. It's here! I got a Whopper meal. Got some jalapeno cheddar bites in there. Surprise. 